Well, um, it started with the age change. That was a big part of it. I had my mom served a mission, and so it had all I had been brought up feeling that was something that I could potentially do, and it just seemed really far away. So when the age change announcement was made, I felt that that was something that I would really like to do. I would like to serve a mission, um, but it, I was in school at the time, and it took me a couple of months to get to the point where I felt comfortable accepting an answer from the Lord that that's what I needed to do. And so it was, it happened really fast when, when the time was right and his timing, it just all happened right after one thing, right after another. And I ended up in Virginia and it was great. <laughs> I felt so strongly that I needed to open my mission call in a sacred environment. And so I didn't invite anyone over. Um, and I actually didn't know when my call was actually going to come. So it ended up that we were preparing something for my grandma's birthday. And my brother walked in with a pile of mail in his hands. And I just opened it with my immediate family. And I didn't want people to be cheering and clapping and yelling. That's not my personality, but also I wanted it to, to maintain that sacred feeling that you get when you open a mission call. Um, and it was perfect for me. Maybe it's not for everyone, but it was perfect for me because I, I needed that witness from the spirit that this is exactly where I needed to go. And if I had had people around me that were being really loud and noisy, I don't think I would have felt that as strongly or been able to hold on to it, but it felt tangible. It was something that I cherished my whole mission is remembering the feeling that I had when I had opened my mission call and knowing that that was exactly where the Lord wanted me to be.